Gwydion. Gwydion. Gwydion, what are you doing, boy? I was... just... looking. How dare you take leave of your duties? Resume your chores immediately. Yes, Mananin. Master. Had your parents survived your wretched infancy? The sight of your sloth alone would have killed them. They would not have been proud of me. No, but fate has favored you. Few orphaned youths can know such fortune. You are lucky to be here to serve me. I am very lucky. Indeed. Now get to work. Such is the story of young Gwydion's life to this point. What's a poor boy to do? Oh well, in resignation, Gwydion obediently follows Mananan into the house. Well, hello again everyone, my name is Chronos006, back with a new Let's Play adventure for you. Or, actually, that's not true. <laughs> this is the start of a new series for you guys that'll be called... Let's try that one again, shall we? <laughs> Basically, uh, for those of you guys who were with me at the very beginning of my channel, we are near its fifth year anniversary. I can't even believe that, to be perfectly honest. It's coming up this November. It was right around my birthday of 2011 that I first created this channel. And it's, we've come a long way, let's just say that. <laughs> now, for those of you who tried to watch my first playthrough of this, way, way back in the day when I really didn't know what I was doing, really didn't have the technology needed for it, and really had a tough time making it work, I apologize, but Hopefully you haven't had to witness that monstrosity, and if you have, and or if you haven't, and you want to laugh, or just kind of see how far I've come, take a look at it sometime. But, not before you've seen this one. Now, this is a new playthrough of this one. This is King's Quest 3 to Ares Human Redux by AGD Interactive, based upon the original King's Quest 3 by Sierra Online, Ken and Roberta Williams. One of my favorite games of all time, and really one of the first adventure games that I got addicted to as a kid. Not the first game I ever played, certainly not the first adventure game I ever played, but one of the first ones that I fell in love with immediately. This was right around that era of uh, Black Cauldron, also, if you guys have seen that on my channel, where basically... I just, I started to understand a little bit better and was able to start actually playing some of these games and really, you know, understand what was going on. Now, this one was originally made either 84, 85, or 86. I honestly can't remember which. And I think it was around 85 or 86. I would have been like three, I think, when this game first came out. And 
This was just mind blowing to me. This is what really got me into the Sierra games. I had played the first two King's Quests before, but I was too young. I didn't get them. I didn't really get into it. This was the first one that really got into. Now, this was during that golden age of Sierra adventure gaming where you just kind of walked around and you had to type a lot in order to get anything done. But this is a remake, a fan remake made by AGD Interactive a couple years back. I want to say like 2009, 2010, and uh, it's gorgeous. It's a, it's a really great uh, remix, so to speak, redux of the game. It's done with a lot of love. Some changes are made as far as puzzles and whatnot that can both get uh, the original fans into it and new fans who had not had the opportunity to play this. Now, for those of you who do know the original, you can see that there is a huge graphical improvement, as well as great music, great sound effects, and it's the point-and-click interface rather than the typing interface. Now, like I said, there were some changes made, but anyway, the reason that I'm, I'm up here where the menu items are is because this is a very unique adventure game in that there is a time element involved. Now, I'm going to unpause this here, and you'll, I will probably get rudely interrupted, but I'll just kind of give you a quick tour. All right, so here we have the title, obviously. Now, this timer up here is very important. Oh, there he is. The old wizard looks at you menacingly. My chamber pot is full. Empty it immediately. Now, we want to quickly do what he says, because we are Gwydion, a slave boy that uh, apparently so it seems, grew up with this wizard, Mananan, and he is the servant boy of Mananan. So, as we're walking around the house here, you'll notice that you can, it's usual adventure fair, you can look around, you can click on things, touch things, take things, whatever. You can see most of the countryside of Ludor from this vantage point. Now, the narrator in this is great. The voice work is, mm, it's hit or miss, but the narrator in this is awesome. So... Anyway, obviously back in the day, there was no voices or anything, so you had to read everything. But you guys know me, my voice acting is not that great, so I do like the uh, the new voices that have been added to it. Now, let's not keep him waiting. We definitely need to get that chamber pot going. Now, as you guys know, like I said, I most certainly have played this game before. I will not try to pretend I haven't. I pretty much know exactly what I'm doing through this one. Wrinkling your nose in disgust, you throw the smelly contents of the chamber pot out the open window. What a way to make a living. <laughs> ah, the days of chamber pots. For those of you who don't know what a chamber pot is, look it up. You'll understand. All right, so this is actually taking place in Ludor, as we said, not in Daventry, for those who know the King's Quest games usually takes place in, but what's this? You have always admired this lovely tapestry. It's one of the few bright spots in this dreary house. But since we're here, let's take a quick little tour. This is Gwydion's room. He stays here. It's very simple, of course, but he is of simple means. We've already seen the upstairs where the telescope is. Now, as you're wandering around here, you obviously have to follow the wizard's beck and call. It's a painting of the wizard from long ago. You wonder if he was ever young. However, there are places you are not supposed to go, and there are things you are not supposed to do. And if you do the wrong thing, he will punish you. If you do a very wrong thing, he will the punish you harshly. The wizard is writing at his desk. He looks up from his work and greets you with a scowl. Boy, you know Boy. I don't like you to enter my private study, especially when I'm writing. Leave now, or I'll make you leave. All right, so he does not want us here. So we're going to go ahead and leave. I just love that that wizard's theme, that menacing theme. And of course we have the cat. This is Mananan's detestable pet. You are not close enough. The cat just hisses at you. Whoa, hello. The wizard gives you an evil glare. <laughs> So yeah, so the thing is, that timer up there is incredibly important, as you'll see, and I'll explain as we go. This is my name. Okay. You are not... You are not... I don't know if I should do that or not. I'm going to go ahead and save. 
And again, I'm going to try to be kind of coy about this. I know everything about this game. Believe me, I've played it countless times. Uh, this version, I've probably played about three or four times. So we should be able to get through this pretty quickly. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to let you guys see just why this game is so incredible and amazing. All right, so we're just starting out. Let's go ahead and call this uh, dining room. Let's take a look around, shall we? You scrutinize the moose head carefully. While it is long past its grazing days, you feel sorry for the poor old thing. What's this? Come on. After playing Gabriel Knight, I'm so used to a billion icons. <laughs> a tin cup has been left on the table. Mananen was not pleased to be served blackroot juice in anything other than his chalice heirloom. All right, then he won't care if we take that, right? <laughs> I love the cat icon when it's waiting. The perfect servant, aren't you? Ah, we got a point for doing that, so we definitely need that. Alrighty, what do we got here? The fireplace is not used during the summer. Mananen insists that you clean it regardless, and frequently. Your muscles ache as you recall the long hours spent churning butter. It's just your old tin bucket. And we take the bucket? There's no hole in this bucket. Why bother with it? No, they were sealed in my bucket. Near the fireplace is a crude broom made of straw. It's always a good idea to do some chores, even if he doesn't ask us. So we are a slave servant boy. Point is, we want to keep the wizard happy. Because since he is in fact a wizard, he has the ability to do very nasty things to us. All right, up oh, there he is. The wizard's glare makes you suddenly feel very, very small. I have decided to take a journey. All right, so that means he's going to be gone for a little while. So you see that timer is now green. That is a hint to us that we have now have a little bit of free time to explore a little bit and potentially do things we're not supposed to do, such as leave the house. So we're going to do you that in just a second. take the carving knife from the iron rack and keep it with you. So for those who have seen the... Uh, you take the wooden spoon from the iron rack and keep it with you. The abomination of a first recording Let's Play that I did so many years ago. You retrieve the clay bowl from the kitchen shelf and take it with you. I honestly can't even, like, it, it hasn't even felt like it's been that many years. It's crazy thinking about how quickly they've gone by. You take the mutton chop and carry it with you. And how quickly that my life has changed and things have moved in, fortunately, you a much more positive direction. You take the loaf of and carry it with you. Now, life's pretty good for me right now, you folks. Take I'm very happy. And carry it with you. And I'm happy that things are going well. So, there are now, like I said, let me give you a proper playthrough of this experience because I love this game so much. And it honestly kind of irritates me that I did such a poor job on the first one. And the first one was filled with so many issues. Uh, when we hit 200 subscribers, I originally wanted to do a commentary of the first playthrough. But then I was like, you know what? Just do it again. Do it right. Okay, so now we are on the outside. The wizard's mansion has been your home, life, and world. When closed, the coop does its job well. So for those of you who have not seen this game, you're in for a treat. Ludor stretches below you. There were some changes made to the actual game, and the, the big fans of the original will certainly notice them. For example, this area used to be an incredibly annoying puzzle, where you had to wind your way down the mountain and you could fall and kill yourself very easily. But now, an it's eagle a lot sits easier. in its nest, tilting its head as it eyes you warily. Hello, Eagle. As you speak, the Eagle shifts defensively. It doesn't trust you. And why should it? Now, one funny little change that I'm going to go ahead and make another save here in case I need some extra time. Uh, cliffs. Boy, just listen to that music. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> and I pointed this out in the original. I'm going to point it out again because I just find it hilarious. Now, be careful when you get close to the edge. Watch your step. 
<laughs> that still makes me laugh. Now, if you guys don't recognize that, that is actually the intro theme or part of the intro theme to Inspector Gadget. And I don't know how they came up with that, but it's just so perfect for when he's falling to his death. <laughs> I don't know how they even got that and how they didn't get in trouble for that. But like I said, this is a completely fan-made game. It's free to download at aginteractive.com, I believe. But uh, you can take a look there. It was a labor of love. It's, like I said, completely free to download. Check it out. Play it. It's awesome. But in the meanwhile, let's keep going. Now, again, we are on a time limit right now, so keep an eye on that clock up there. It'll turn a different color as a warning when time is running low, but we are not supposed to leave the house. If the wizard ever finds us having left the house, he will punish us rather severely. So the point is, we have to be very quick and very careful. Can I do this? No, I cannot. Okay. And it's especially easier to walk down the mountain and not fall when you can use the mouse to just kind of click everywhere you need to go, rather than having to use the arrows, which I had to use when I was a child, and I was not very good at it then. 